what's up youtube pj back with another video and as you can see the video quality is a little bit different i did decide to go ahead and give me another camera another lens and hopefully this thing is wide enough for y'all and i just stepped into the sunlight and i have this nd filter a variable nd filter on the camera if you don't know what that is i could change like the brightness of it kind of wait it's my first time really using one of these but you should be able to see a little difference, if not a lot. Yeah, I really don't know what I have in store for today's video, but I do know that I do need to be getting a Miata ready for autocross because this is a brand new year, brand new chance to start autocrossing once again, and uh, I haven't driven a Miata in forever, so the battery's kind of dead. What up, Bruce? Look at that. 10 to 18 millimeter. That's how wide that is. Like I said, the Miata does need to be driven a lot more than it has been getting driven. And this year, I think I'm going to try to change that. I really don't know what I want this video to be about. But like I said, I do need to get this thing ready for the autocross season. And we have a lot of things to do with it. Like, first off, I need to get this thing ready so I can go and get it to get an alignment. Because if you look at it, you probably can't tell. But it has a quite a bit of camber on the back i don't like that and also this in this box that i've had for over a year now is the aluminum parcel shelf that goes uh behind the back seat well behind the seat there's only one seat in this thing but it uh has a bunch of rust on it so i guess the first thing i'm gonna just do here i guess the first thing i'm gonna do is uh Try to jump this thing off and then start taking out the back part of the interior and get into this parcel shelf. Now I think it's a good time to show y'all this product that Oxido went on ahead and shipped me out because this is going to help out quite a bit with the Miata, especially with it in the condition that it's in right now. It came with some instructions, but we're not even going to look at them because men don't use instructions. Look at this. What could this be? I've never actually had one of these things before, but Hopefully, this thing has enough power in it to jumpstart the car. And I already charged it up to 100%, so let's try to get this battery jumped off. Yeah. Look like it's that simple. I might need to read these instructions. <laughs> I thought it would just, I don't know. We might have light. Do we have light? definitely gonna be a tool that I keep inside my Miata at all times from now on I'm not even gonna lie I was kind of I was kind of skeptical about this thing even working as good as it did I mean I thought it was gonna work but like after a while of me trying and you know waiting for the battery to to shake back because the battery it has been dead for forever now since last year sometime and I've been waiting for this to come in just so I can see how it works and like I said this is definitely gonna be something that I keep inside my Miata at all times from now on. Huge shout out to Bill and the Oxido team once again for sending me this quality product and thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. I can't be more happy to receive this. It's definitely going to be put to use. Of course you know I have a discount code for y'all. If y'all want to check out anything on their site and get it at a fraction of the price, it's already a low price but as a fraction of that low price and uh, yeah just go to their website and check them out and tell them PJ sent you.
looking like it's a little bit more than what I remember. And plus I forgot that I had to cut the old parcel shelf to fit my roll bar in there. So the vacuum the inside of the Miata a little bit so I can uh I guess start to cutting this after because I do have some sound deadening material that I'm gonna lay down first and uh put some around there and then put some also on top of this so I'm about to go ahead and do that before I run out of daylight so I will catch y'all whenever I'm done with this So this took a lot longer than anticipated, even though I should have anticipated that happening. The sun's starting to go down a little bit more than I want it to. I still have a few things that I want to touch up on the Miata before the, the autocross that I have this weekend. And so I think I'm going to pick up on this video tomorrow. like right up the street from me so it isn't gonna take long but uh, I'm about to end today's video right here I did not get to do every single thing that I did want to get done uh, and that's more so tedious stuff because I was gonna try to plug my laptop in and try to fix something with the startup of the tune like warm-up enrichment or something like that and to be honest I don't really know what I'm talking about whenever it comes to tuning a vehicle but I do want to try my hand and to start learning more about tuning and potentially become a DIY tuner of some sort. I don't think that's something that I've told y'all on this channel before, but I do think that I want to start tuning vehicles and more so my own vehicles, but see where it takes me and see how good I could be at that if I just tried. And like I previously stated in the video, I have not been the most motivated to do car things lately. Uh, I don't know why, it's just been feeling more so like a hassle and just trying to do car things and not really get paid for it. Uh, it's starting to feel more so like just another bill, another expense, another way that's just taking money out of my pockets for not too much profit or revenue from it. And it's been less fun and I think that's because a lot of the people that I've started out doing the car stuff with they just have they don't do it anymore and so I just feel a lot on my own right now hopefully with me starting to uh, start the autocross season it does help out with that and I do have one of my cousins he finally got his dream car it's a Camaro y'all will be seeing it on the channel sometime in the near future but uh, he's gonna be out there autocrossing with me this time, this Saturday. 
and I'm looking forward to that. But I am now about to pull up to the shop and drop my car off. Uh, it's supposed to be getting the alignment in the morning, so uh, it's not actually going to be getting the alignment right now. But I'm about to pull up to the shop, and so, like I said, this is where I'm going to end today's video. If you like the video, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some positive vibes in the comment section below, and I will catch y'all in the next video. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.